What? Yeah, I plan on bringing all the other witches with me. You're, you were serious? Oh, yes. I've said before, it is some ridiculous nonsense the fact that we risk our lives and lose them for others just to fight their monsters and how will they repay us here's your money get the hell out uh -uh. yeah so don't even try to say that i'm wrong here no 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 it's not that it's <sighs> Didn't know that was the take you had on this. Oh, yeah. And this little, uh, uh, this little event, it's really put a new perspective on this. You see, my kid. Being a natural born witcher, <laughs> that's that's a game changer. For one, it, it is ridiculous, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't want him going up in a world where he's hated, but still expected to help those who view him as lesser or an abomination mutant. Here, so we have abilities that they see as abnormal, wrong, and all that, but still expect us to help them. Wait, oh, oh my god, oh, <laughs> what? I just realized that must that must have been how it was for those who when it came to Quark's first awakening. Oh my hell! Oh, that's that's crazy. Oh uh, wait, wait, and you like this? People are always prosecute hate, fear. Things they don't understand. People who are different. Uh, who knows? Maybe some of the monsters will be so bad if you talk to them. What? What was it, girl? Oh, wait. Do you, do you do you have an actual experience? Um, I wouldn't say that. What did you, what did you do, or who did you talk to? Uh, well, werewolves. What? Yeah, and I talked to a werewolf, I mean, they were actually cool. I mean, they were sucking bus and, see? No, yes, the monsters are terrifying. At times, that does not mean they're inherently evil. If we want to, who knows? Maybe we could end up becoming dragon riders. What? Oh, yeah, imagine if we were cool with dragons. Not outright hanging them. But we uh, in a good enough headspace or whatnot to the point where they wouldn't want to hurt us. We could cause a lot of damage. I mean, some of these monsters are pretty much child's play for us. I mean, yeah, there's always a monster or two that can catch us off guard if we're not prepared. Especially if we don't have the means to actually Kill it. Like, hell, I remember this one job. Ugh. He gave me the exact wrong information on this monster in hopes that I die killing it. What? 
Oh yeah, I brought them. I brought them its head and decided to give me my money. I gave him uh, <laughs> threatened them to add on a little at the top. You didn't. Oh yes, I did. He almost got me killed over seriously just trying to get a free monster killing that's that's low it's bad enough you, you already aren't well liked except for killing hmm yeah that's a good point so we uh, contact all the witchers that are well, left, and then what? We gather them all up in one place. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how I should also explain this to you, but get the hell out of this dimension or universe, whatever it, this would count as. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. But that, that, that could be difficult, all things considered. How come? We were like this. When you know that witchers are about to get the hell out. Oh. You're right. Yeah, we're going to have to. We would need to find a way for us to keep this very, very quiet. Last thing we need is for someone unsavory learning about our plan. <laughs> Any ways for us to, you know, spread the word without raising suspicion? West. What? Well, you know, monster hunt. Something so dangerous. Something that will be so much a threat to the world anywhere, really, that will cause people to, all right, let's call the witchers and have them fix our mess again. Let him fix our problems. Hmm. You know what? Actually, yeah, that, that, that would work pretty, good, pretty damn well. Huh. Yeah. That could actually work. What monster is so dangerous I could call, cause a reason to summon probably every witcher that exists now? I don't know. Maybe we could make one up. Mm. Uh, I don't know. There has to be one hell of a monster. Uh, something deadly. Something is fast, strong. Cunning. We, we can't have no dumb monster. Mm. Uh, well, I think we'll have to workshop that. But so we find a, a perfect description of the beast, we won't need a location. Like, who's asking for help? That's not a good point. Yes. Then you gotta think. What if someone decides, okay, maybe we should send armies? Yeah. Because if they just send armies, then they find out that, wait, this is a trick. 
trying to get rid of all the witches. <laughs> yeah, we get slaughtered and we would just take our notes on how. <laughs> what? What is it? You think I won't let them get our secrets to making more of us? No, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, just no. Uh, explain. Whatever I do bring with us, I am burning and destroying. I will grind it into the dust and destroy every last... Wait. Huh. That's it. What? If, if anything, all the ingredients, everything from the ratios, the compounds, when you need to put this and that, we should just make it impossible for them to make witches. What do you mean? Think of it like this. Think of the ballista. What is it really? A crossbow. A big ass crossbow. Exactly. And what's a crossbow? A, oh, it's just a bow and arrow. A souped up bow and arrow. Uh huh. And you know, if the arrows, they seem pretty much like spears. Yeah. Yeah, actually. If anything, the modern, the modern bow was pretty much a way to just shoot tiny spears. The crossbow is to make it more powerful, faster, and easier to use. Because you gotta imagine, to throw a spear takes a lot of strength and force to begin with, but being able to time it perfectly so you don't miss. But then there's another problem with with it. Um, if you lose a bowman, that's a lot of training down the drain. Boy, let's go. You can just give it to the hands of a novice and they can kill just as many people as a veteran. That ballista can triple. Army when used right. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. But what's the point here? Just like the ballista, crossbow, and the bow and arrow, hell, even spears. Sooner or later, someone's going. Someone would have created it regardless. And all it takes is time. As long as you have the means, the know-how, and especially the time and the need for it, someone is going to uh, progress the, well, anything. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a, that's a real good point. Exactly. No matter how much we will, we will just want to get rid of everything. If the means, you know, the ingredients and the other ways to make witchers exist, like the mandrake or the, yeah, you're right. Hmm. So, if anything, if we gather. The ingredients to making witchers, as well as the ways to do it. <laughs> Even when we're gone, there's no way in hell that you'd be able to make more. But, huh. So, uh, 
Well, we're going to have a little scavenger hunt thing. <laughs> Think of it as more of a final trial. Like, say we kill all the manticores. We kill all the hag beasts, so we can put all the mandrakes and so on and so forth. If we make it so they literally can't make more of us, <laughs> just imagine how fucked they'd be whenever they would actually need one of us. <laughs> oh man I knew I wanted to screw them over but wow you you're a genius no I'm just very sadistic why do you think I'm in charge for helping make witchers good point good point so really well We'll have a whole mass extermination project here. But should it just be witchers? Versus paint? Wouldn't it be kind of, you know, suspicious? I get what you're saying. Because of making witchers, there's a reason why there are so few people actually making them. Not only is it very costly, because they're the beast they have to take down, but you also gotta ima imagine yeah, they don't know what they're for. Except for witchers and those who make them. If you're not really well associated with witchers, chances are you wouldn't know what it takes to make one unless you pay attention. Hmm. Okay. I, I I get what you're saying. Good. So, failing. One thing we can do is upplay how dangerous these ingredients are and can be. But we will have to exclude certain materials, so it isn't overly suspicious. Like, if anything's used for a potion that everyone can use that doesn't have dire consequences, yeah. Mm, that's still, I know, but I know, I know. But really, what, who knows? better of how dangerous this world is than witchers. We hunt these things on a daily basis if we're not we get paid enough. Yeah, it's me nobles who think they can do whatever they want. I'm pretty sure they'll send peasants and a whole heap of their Retainers. Just imagine it. If anything, it could be a slaughter if they don't have a witcher. Hmm. Okay. So, what you're saying is, really, have a whole worldwide extermination project where the things that are required, which is an only use, truly create witches, but it can be part of a healing potion, stamina, or magic replenishment. But still, I know someone would try to see their other benefits so they wouldn't have to. What then? We just gotta play and overhype how dangerous they are. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 
As long as they think it could be life-threatening, that could also help with the monster case, too. If anything, armies could go out exterminating everything. Maybe even take a few witchers where they would be able to... Wait, 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 that's right. What? Witchers. People will probably get suspicious if, you know, what? You know, in my world, yeah, there are people with similar quirks, but not nearly as similar as, you know, oh, oh, so you're saying, wait, are you honestly suggesting putting other people through the Witcher experiments? Those who are willing, like I was. You're serious. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, we get the means to acquire more. A, a manticore? If we take a male or female, that's going to be a lot of. I get that. That's why we need some more diversity. Seriously, all the beasts here that we would bring to your world would be ridiculous. What do you mean? We just need some place to hold them and, you know, bring the people. I'm pretty sure, but as much gold, jewelry, other treasures we've collected from. The treasury, <laughs> we should be able to buy something very generous. Okay, okay. Well, the thing is, us being witchers, what work will we really have? Your world doesn't have monsters or anything. True, but <laughs> don't uh, still misunderstand. There's still things and people who might need to be taken care of. Hmm. Well, so we we what a league of assassins or something. I would say fixers. <laughs> you have thought this through quite a bit, haven't you, boy? Uh, I've had years to think about what I was going to do next after the things. <sighs> So good, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just there's a lot on my mind right now. Look, look, kid, if you need a moment, no, no, I'm fine. Just right now, I'm so close to actually going home. I, uh, there's a lot to prepare for. Like, I still have to save my dad, if he's still alive. And, and mom. She, she won't even be able to recognize me. Will she? I... Ah. Been so long. Your face, I, I, 
can't even remember it as good as I used to. I have a faint silhouette, but... <sighs> this is going to be a lot for me. Oh, but before we really get this started, we want to make sure we have every scrap of money we can get our hands on. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, all the gold and everything will be nice. The amount of money we would require. Yeah. That should make sense. We also need to consider our careers. Yes, that too. What do you mean? Uh, the, when did you get here? I put the baby asleep. And now, what, a, what are careers are you talking about? I don't think it like this. Not every witcher wants to be a monster killer until they die. So, at the very least, we can divvy up the money for those who don't, you know, don't want and still be killing. And help them find different jobs for them. Well, they can start families too. Ooh. Wait, that's another thing. What? You see, I can possibly help. What? What? What do you mean, help? Yeah, I'm not sterile. I something in my DNA allows me to procreate. No, no. What? Don't tell me you're going to be a certain surrogate. What? What? No. The what are you saying? Man, you, you, you really need to calm down a little bit, don't you think? What I'm saying is, there is a key in my DNA that allows me to procreate. If we find that key and can administer it, well, administer it to other witchers, they can procreate too. If it works. Are you trying to give witchers the gift of being able to bear children and have families of their own? Yes, I am. I think I love my kid. Oh, yes, he was an accident. A god honest accident. I love him regardless. Wow. And this really works. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that'll, that'll be really mixing up the gene pool. Yeah, you're right about that. But wait, 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 wait. So, but. This is our thing. We age very, very slowly. I'm aware of that. So, you realize that um, some of us do have partners? Them just I and Geralt is like, why do I feel attacked? Okay, yeah, I get it. What's your point? 
kills her by the time when she's, you know, she's pushing 80, you're going to look barely in your 30s, 40s, eh? if you're lucky. And it, you don't see a problem with that. So. Look, yes, I do think there's a limit to, to the whole age number number thing. I think where it says that it might be might need to be uh, monitored for a little bit, but still. As long as it's a conscious decision for to both parties and they're both of consenting age, granted, I prefer people who, you know, don't go too far back. I still believe there's some limits there. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Good to her, to Witcher. What? Yeah. You're serious. Wait, what is he talking about? Uh, okay, he's thinking about putting you through the witchification process in which it is going to hurt a lot, a lot. Are you serious? Like how, how your body is going to break down and rebuild itself and you have to have enough willpower to survive it. I was so angry, yet exhausted. When, when I first went through the process, first I didn't feel anything, but then it hit me like a truck. Don't worry about it. Right thing I thought was going to be isekai to the next life. <sighs> Who knows, man? If I was weaker, I probably would have been. But. At the end of the day, it's, it's not something for a weak person. You are going to have to be pretty damn resilient. Your willpower is going to have to be at the tippy top. Your pain tolerance is going to be tested. Your mental state, it is a... It is one hell of a burden to put on somebody, especially this someone who hasn't even trained to begin with. Well, uh, heh, about that, what? If we are successful in using your blood or whatever to find the key to give us the ability to procreate, chances are that would be a, a way to make other witchers the artificial way too? What? Or at least that's a theory I have. If not that, it should be, at least be able to, you know, temporarily grant those abilities. Well, really, like I said, it's just a theory. Okay. Right side, yes, then she'd be able to become a witcher. Possibly. On the downside, I would be bitter as hell. Why? All the pain I went through just to become a witcher, she's going to get an easy way. To... Don't get me wrong, I would be happy. But also, I would be bitter. Seriously, it's like a soldier working for years. 
trying to get some land or prestige. But then you look at the Nessie eyes like, oh, wait, no, I already have all that. When did you get it? It's like, oh, just today. Yeah, the Lord uh, or the king or whatever, they liked me, so he said, yeah, here. Oh, yeah, well, I would be better, too. <laughs> You're right. Or at least, I wanted to earn it. Well, chances are, the pain is still going to be there. It'll just be a less stressful process compared to what... Uh, so what? We like new bloods or something. Uh, you know, like uh, AW, artificial witchers. Though, yes, they still have the same adaptations. There's still chances they'll be a bit weaker. Yeah, there's still a chance. Huh. Wait, but what if it doesn't work? Well, if it ends up being worse than the actual, oh man, if it's going to be worse, yeah, I, I don't want to leave my son without a mother. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see your point. Or at least we can test it out first. Well, at the very least, we do need to get this whole show on the road, don't you think? You are quite right. Because then there are water posters there, as well as, you say, requests for certain beasts. Mixed in with the fact that there has been multiple hearsay on a dangerous new monster as well as their preferred food considering that yeah humans are paranoid as hell because of their well-being especially when it comes to things that are new they're ones up in arms luckily luckily they do somehow get the word out to a whole heap of witchers who keep on passing it along to fellow witchers. And because of the ones who actually do have spouses or people who they wouldn't want to see get pretty much royally screwed with them not being there anymore, they do have plans to get them refuge until the until the event. Izuku is so shocked yet happy to see that there are a lot of war witches that he first anticipated. Considering that, yeah, they can't procreate, and yeah, there's more than one school of witchers. He's impressed to see how many has actually survived, which is a a testament to see how their skills have truly became crucial in their survival. Some are actually lucky enough to not be screwed over by greedy people. They actually do have plots of land. Though they do know they're going to miss it, there's like, eh, what this place Hit the people who are lord over, they hate witchers. Seriously, one of them kept complaining about the, a witcher who refused to save their daughter or something. It's like, it wasn't that witcher. That witcher was probably long dead now. <clears throat> what? Like, I am that witcher. You got a problem with me, fool. Maybe. Okay, okay. 
guys. Guys and gals, whatever. Let's not fight amongst ourselves. Let's instead rejoice on the chance we are being given. Explain. The real, you know, the reason why you're all here. To leave this godforsaken world and go to a new one. And, if all goes according to plan, you guys can be able to procreate. What? Like me. Huh? Everyone just starts murmuring, but then this one woman, like, okay, we're witchers. There's no way in hell we can have children. Um, what do you mean by like you? What makes you so different? There's no way in hell you. So, excuse me, dear. Maybe my child. That's not how you ask. We need to show off our son. Bring him here. Them looking. Uh, yeah, this kid has green hair like Izuku was a fall. We know that means you could have done the trials before because, or after he had the kid. You could have had the mutation after conceiving. But then his son wakes up. They see those eyes. And they are Talked at seeing this one way a minute. You're saying that's yours. He's mine. That child is, it's got your blood in it. Oh, yes. The first natural witcher. Natural born witcher <laughs> is my boy. That's my boy right there. If all goes according to plan, once we're gone, we're going to find a way, hopefully, for you to have the same pleasure. Wait. Oh, man, just, does this mean we would have to use protection? I, uh, I mean, uh, because, uh, Hey, like, I've seen that woman before. If why no? She's 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 married. Well, she was. What happened? Now, oh, no one really told you. There's a reason this kid was here. So, not only is that your kid, that's your bastard. And what happened to her husband? Uh, let's just say he met a, he had an untimely incident. No. Yes. He fought around and found out with the wrong one. Any more questions? No. 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 And that's for the protection part. What if you guys can, can procreate? If you're not careful, yes, you can get someone pregnant. Or you can become pregnant. So, if you don't want kids, I suggest you be careful and yes, use protection. But that's such a hassle. Hey, you don't have to go through the procedure. Just remember, when you're the only one that don't have a bundle of joy to hold your arms when you want one. All because you didn't want to go through the procedure. All because you wanted to continue with your weak pullout game. <laughs> That's where it's coming from, you. Woman. Now it's not the time. No, 
No, you were not Paul. Heck, you sure as hell didn't care about one apple four, is it? I didn't know I could get to nothing. That is not my fault. Fair. That's fair. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yes. Shaming you for not wanting to experience this gift. Ugh. I forget it. Oh, boy, the spell's almost ready. And I did. I think I did. I did tell you all to make sure you had as much money as possible. Right? Oh, yeah, we're loaded. Right. In that case, everyone, say goodbye to this hellscape you used to call home. Because where I'm from originally, there are no monsters to kill. Hmm? Yeah, no monsters. Well, no. No monsters like here. In fact, you can get other occupations. You're serious? Oh, yes, yes. You don't have to worry about killing for money, risking your lives just to make a few coins ever again. You're you're not lying to us. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are heroes and villains in my world, and quirk animals that can be rather dangerous. But compared to the things I faced here, <laughs> easy. Really? Yep. So, if anything, if you want to get, want to go ahead and go, we can go ahead and get, get out of Dodge. As then there's silence until there are mountains of cheers and applause. Everyone just imagining how good it would feel just to slow down. Kick up your feet and not have to worry about monsters coming in to kill you, people prosecuting you as bad, let alone having to risk your life just so you can earn a living. So, the spell begins, and the Zero does feel something is off. So the portal opens, Izuku takes a look and sees that, yeah, this looks like my world. Him not really sure, him asking, can you make it, can you change the location a little bit? And this is what he sees, All Might. At least, him on a big ass billboard. Oh yeah. This is my world. But just then, he catches an arrow mid-air, wondering what the hell. Looking over the walls of the fortress, he sees an army. Him wondering what's going on. As he turns his head. We need to go. Him yelling that there's an army coming their way, in which, yeah, they know, they're going to be slaughtered. And that's the best case scenario. Apparently, someone's probably caught on. So, Yuzuku has no choice but to have everyone rush out all at once, trying to get to their bare lives. This takes a lot longer than it should have. As it rains arrows, and Izuku has to push his tail because he's just far beyond what he thought he would have. So he stops each and every one of them. He stops the whole barrage and turns them back 
Straight to back. Straight to Cinder. The only thing is, Izuku is obviously getting more and more fatigued and tired. He's never had to really go up against an army before. So every barrage of arrows, he has to stop. Every so often, yes, the arrows do end up getting barged in some unfortunate or unfortunate witcher. Luckily, not too many casualties. Just let's say five end up getting shot in the neck and dying. He's like getting more and more upset to the point where he uses his fire breath to light each arrow on fire and sends it down, raining down like hell on earth. The thing is, this is not a turn of them. They have shields. So he's like, what does he do? He's like, you know what? Let me turn up the heat a little bit. These aren't going to be fire arrows. These are going to be melting arrows. I am going to make sure this hurts. As he's heating up these arrow tips. To the point where they are glowing red hot. And sends them. They start melting straight through the shield, straight through the armor of not only the soldiers, also the horses. As you can hear the cries of agony, Izuku is getting more exhausted as everyone finally gets through him falling unconscious. Only the last thing he sees is Gerald running out to him. Okay, and that's how that could, the whole thing turns out. When it comes to him waking up, he does notice. Where are we? Yeah, we're in your world. Uh, really? Yeah. Man, I. I was out like a light, wasn't I? How long have I been out? Oh, uh, uh, two days. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you were out for two days. Oh, that quirk must have really been a number on you, huh? <laughs> wow, I... I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty good, though. Ugh. Oh, where is everyone? Oh, um, well, uh, we're in the woods. We're, we're still in the woods. You know. Why? Well, we, uh, we don't know how to really socialize here. So we, we would, uh, be very happy if you would aid us in that, in that happening. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, sure, sure, no, no, no problem, uh, it's just, uh, uh, give me, give me a minute to get my bearings. Him coming out of his tent and seeing the large amount of witchers that still did survive, they are happy to see him, also, okay. You forgot to mention something about this place that you forgot to mention the horseless chariots, the carriages that, and what what's with the? They were like a magic, and these devices that seem to run off lightning. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I completely forgot about that. Oh, my God. I post the etiquette, and uh, it turns out that you're going to want to be stuck in... They, they don't want to be stuck in uh, Japan, either. Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot that's going you're gonna need to learn. Okay, 
Okay, okay. Uh, I know exactly what to do. First things first, I'm going to go out to exchange all the treasure. Then we have all the gold, jewelry, etc. But I don't think I can actually sell the paintings some of you brought. Hmm. Well, either way. Uh, Geralt? Yes. You're coming with me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not... I'm not one for, you know, this uh, exploring. Don't bullshit, Aiden. Let's go. They arrive. First, he's like, he wants to go to the pawn shop, but he changes his mind. He's like, hell no, nah, I want, I'm definitely not going to want to buy this stuff back. So he goes to the appraisers. This is gold. Yes. And silver. Uh-huh. This this craftsmanship is I have not seen it's like it was handcrafted. Mm-hmm. And I don't I this is a lot. It is? Cause I got more. Like, you do. Yes. This quality of gold and silver and these gemstones, though not all are perfect, they are in immaculate condition. How much do you want from them? Tell you what, give me some, I want you to shoot a few numbers my way and uh, we'll see if we can come to an agreement. Oh, uh, what? I, I, I don't know if I look. If you can't do it, just say you can't do it. I'll find someone else. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Ugh. Okay. Melting these down to make ingots. Selling these gemstones, let alone these uh, articulate jewelry pieces. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think I can buy all of this at once. And you said you got more? Yes. Yeah. I can only take so much. Okay. So tell me how much you can actually take so you won't go broke. I'll take this much, but the rest you might just need to do an auction. Or something. At least for the jewelry pieces. Jewelries and gemstones. I think those you could just get rid of through auction. All the silver and gold you're going to go somewhere else. To get anything else. Ugh. Man, I can't believe this. Oh well. If anything, just tell me how much you can give me for as much as you can buy. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. You want to go with yen or American? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Well, you want to go with... Uh, Okay, as far as yen goes, I can give you mm, 20 billion. What? Yeah, 20 billion. Was that not, not enough? Draw a pretty little face. 
You got yourself a deal. Really? Hell yeah.